Oh no, I hit him too high. Too low, sorry. Okay, I'll take a crit on him. We're about to get Kool-Aid Man through this side though. E14s are terrifying. As someone coined it, the giant metal Big Mag. Oh no, this is not ideal. Okay, we bounced him. I didn't see anything for dust right now. Good. It didn't reach far enough, but that's fine. Oh, hello. Still here, Shermanator. Now he's gone. There's probably another one here. There's, oh my god, look at the amount of planes coming in. Oh crap. Planes gun carrier. Thought it was a Churchill. I'm too close to teammates here as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a big announcement and possibly one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me in the gaming world. Now some of you might remember when my hard drive died, a fellow by the name of Benny from Crucial approached and offered a SSD to be shipped over. And as he watches the channel quite regularly, he's noticed I've been having some PC woes and has offered a hand in building us a brand new PC. But not only that, he has involved another gentleman here in the UK by the name of Davido Labido. And both of them just happen to be some of the best PC case models on the planet. Now, Davido just happened to be one of the guys who helped work on and build Hodor's PC. I'll put a link to that in the description below. He also works for and represents AlphaCool, who make absolutely gorgeous solutions for PC cooling. And Benny has even made cases out of beer kegs <laughs> and has had a pulsating heart PC as well. I'll put a link to that too. So not only are we getting some crucial goodies and stuff to put in said PC, but they are going to help me design a cool case. And I was hoping you guys in the comments below could help us with some things to put on it, like uh, not ideal, all these weird catchphrases. I don't really pay attention to the things that I say, but you guys definitely do because I see comments about it every day. So in the comments section below, we need ideas like Igor's, anything like that, something you can think of that would make the case look cool. Now, one of the ideas I had was to have it based off of US Jets with the jet intake logos and the black and white theme with the red accents is really my kind of jam. Now, don't go too crazy in your head with designs. We're basically going to modify a standard case to kind of make it odd buzz and war thunder themed. And not only that, I have never built a PC before and we're going to live stream me putting the PC together. So the case is going to come from Mr. DeVito and Benny's going to ship me some parts. I'm going to buy some other things just to complete the build and I'm going to build it live on stream on Twitch. And of course, we'll be putting a video up here on YouTube of pretty much highlights of the build and the final assembly. As well as that, I am live on Twitch right now. I will put the link in the description and in the comments below so you can hop over and come say hello. I'll even be doing some viewer squads. So if you want to hop in, just send me a message on Twitch. I'll let you know how to join the squad and we can pop in, have some games together, talk about PCs and stuff, and it'll be just a rare old good time. And once again, thank you very much, Benny and David. You're really kind, honestly. And if we can get as much thanks as we can in the comments for these two guys, that would be absolutely amazing. Okay, to the meat of the video. This is the German Sherman. We're going to call him Herman. This was a pre-order for the very first tank beta for War Thunder. And it's one of the most desirable tanks in the game. I've wanted it for a very long time. I absolutely adore Shermans. And I finally sold some stuff on the Gaijin market to pick myself up one of these vehicles. Now, unfortunately, they are all sold out. There were 2,020 of them available. I don't know if they'll ever be back again. Sorry, my dog has the zoomies. Now, this is kind of a bittersweet thing because people who pre-ordered this is kind of a special vehicle. And to be honest, it kind of sucks that I was able to buy it. And I was nothing to do with War Thunder back in the day. I've only ever played War Thunder for about a year and a half now. So for me to just get access to this with uh, paying through my Gaijin wallet, kind of a little bit rubbish. But at the same time, for people who maybe weren't even old enough to own a credit card back in those days, or weren't playing the game, I, I suppose it's a nice opportunity to pick this thing back up again. And as someone who wants to collect pretty much every vehicle in the game, yeah, I'm glad that I got it. So for a lot of you wondering why this thing is so sought after, it's not just because it's rare. It's because it's very good. And it's something that's kind of become nerfed over a little while. 
because other nations like Italy who always play against the US and allied teams in realistic battles kind of took the advantage of this vehicle away. And that advantage is that the US players and the UK players aren't really used to fighting against Shermans. And because allies don't really or didn't really come across too many Shermans, they didn't know about the weak spots. This is one of the ones here. This is a, a hole in the armour basically to house the electric turret drive. And there's a couple of little spots on the manly here as well you can take a Sherman out from. So back in the day, whenever you were playing the German Sherman, fighting other Shermans you knew their weak spots. And because people didn't really fight Shermans and allied tanks, didn't really know how to kill this, so it gave you a massive advantage. But one of the most ridiculous things of all is this. This is an entire lineup of vehicles that aren't even German. And what's mad about this is they're all basically improved versions that don't face German guns that are counters to them. So we got the T-34, which is basically, this is the best 76mm T-34 in the game, the KV-1B we all know. The KV-2 here has a machine gun in it as well. We got the IL-2, the Churchill, which doesn't face German guns. <laughs> There's just so many vehicles now at 4.0 and they're all premium. But for today, I'm just going to take this thing out and enjoy myself. I have been looking forward to this day for a very long time. We got the 410B2 with the 50mm cannon in my lineup. And after a little while, I decided I would need probably a fighter to bring in this. This is the... BF 109F4 Trop. I absolutely love this aircraft. It's very good. We got a 250 kilo bomb in here, 20 millimeter cannon in the nose, and some very nice flight characteristics. And really, there's no theme today other than just taking the German Sherman Herman out just to have a little bit of fun. Okay, let's get into some games. Okay, we're in Hurt Me Again Forest. Oh my god, you poor baby. Wait, did that guy get dragged into this game? Did this be off? A BT-7 and a Panzer 3J. Oh no, what? There's no way he's doing this on purpose, right? Oh, you... The... Oh, these guys are bad people. They're like, yeah, you'll be fine in your T-26-4. You'll be okay. <laughs> and they're like a 4-7 game. God damn, dude, what a poor guy. Level 8. Yo, shame on you, dudes. <laughs> oh... Where is he actually? Oh, he's going to take ages. What I really should do is maybe follow him and try and keep him alive. I've got no chance of keeping that thing alive, dude. I actually tried to record a game where I'd get an ace in that thing, but I only managed three kills and four kills. Never got an ace in it once. Big sad. I will go back to it. Those are all work in progress videos. I think that's the most difficult to deal with. Using that vehicle is when you're fighting against German 20 mil. Actually, hell. At least we're with Russia this time. I kind of just wanted to fight Shermans exclusively, really. No doubt we're going to come up against them 10s and stuff. Ooh, you. I can see your fitties. I can see your tonk. That's a T14. I'll tell you what we'll do. Not fight that at range. There's an Achilles over here too. Oh, giant metal Big Mac. Oh. Not good. Churchill. Could be a 7. I don't want to turn my side to it. Oh, there's a 3 inch gun carrier over there too. Right, giant metal Big Mac, where are you? That was an absolutely awful shot on this guy. I kinda want him to fire, so... Oh, there's more over here, look. We might get flanked here. Mr. T-14 is... coming at me. Just know your weaknesses. Oh, don't, don't push me, dude. Go, oh, Billy! It's not ideal. We're good. Someone's going to push up behind me, I think. That didn't go through. Ah, uh, okay. We'll get one more shot at this, I think, before somebody comes up. <laughs> oh, this is kind of annoying. Maybe okay, shot from behind. 
as expected. Where though? Okay, fire out. Oh no. Aye. Did I get a strike shot? Oh my god, dude, I'm getting mauled. I'm gonna die here. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, okay, you were good. Repair. Good lord. We're doing well, Herman. Hold on, I'm gonna love a smoke over there. Holy crap, dude. Oh no. My electric turret drive is running out. This guy's waiting on me too. Oh, there's an angry plane coming. Oh, what a shot, bud. He may push me now. I've got a heavy tank coming to help me. Oh no, stop. My breach. <laughs> I didn't lose any crew. Just my breach. Is he pushing me? Hold on. Oh, one more smokerino over here. They don't need to know that my breach is out. Only the Sherman who hit me. I've got mad hunger shakes right now. I think I'm gonna have pizza tonight. I deserve it after that. Shout out to my pizza homies. Maybe one's pushing up. I don't want to repeat that same guy. He's gonna kill me. He's a god. Not here anymore. I'm scared. Oh my god. Oh, he pushed up. Nice job, Amiga. Now we got seven kills though. My favorite number. Oof. Yep, that'll do it. So let's do a real quick check here. There's an enemy playing up. Let's go with the 109. If we get a bomb kill and a plane kill, we can respawn as the 410. What are you? A bigger plane. Oh, that's not good. I'm dead here already. And if we die here, we're out of the game. Spitfire. Time to dive. We have speed where he has his panels. And he can turn. Of course. Okay, press on a mosquito. Things are firing at me, but I'm trying to slow down a bit so I can try and bomb this Spitfire. He's still chasing me. He's getting close. Uh, imagine that engine sound is working too good. This is awesome. Thank you, Gaijin, for fixing that. Actually sounds close and scary. I'm going to come off the power. Slowing down a little bit more. Okay, now he's shooting at me. Bombs out. Let's dive. I got him hit. He's on fire. Fuck, screw it. Come on. Burn to death, dude. Burn to death. He's critting out. <laughs> Why won't you die? <laughs> die. Please. Anything. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> you shot the crap out of me though. I'm still alive. Okay. Very poor defensive flying by me, but at least we got out of that. How are we looking on spawn points? Okay, we can afford our 410. So not a big stress. Well, that was wild. Fun, but wild. I'm expecting... Oh no. Okay. Well, 
my dying wish is that we kill this thing so we can take the floor 10 up and I'll get beat to death. Okay, we got a bad water leak. My engine's damaged. Oh, we got the mosquito dead. Where he was, though. He fought I think. My plane is not doing very well at all. Some hits on. Just drop bombs on our T-34E. Only set him on fire though. I'm so bad with these guns, I have no idea how to lead them. Oh, he's dead though. What do we have left? Not very many. We're good. There's three aircraft kills though. And some very unconventional ways of dispatching them too. I don't see anything else down here. There's no way I'm killing this water down, no matter what. What is... Okay, M10's dead. Oh, that's an M16. Well, it's been nice being with you guys. It was a good run. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is he still spawn protected? He will be, probably. Oh, yeah, he is. God, look at that. <laughs> He's on fire. <laughs> okay. We'll try spawn the 410, see what happens. It looks like we're gonna cap B. Yeah, it's looking like it. Before I can even get into battle. Okay, yeah, I guess we just hop into the next one. Pretty decent, no? 10 kills, I'm happy with that. Some dude on uh, 12 here with his SU-85, dude, what a beast. GG. Four point seven Italy. Oh, here we go. I've kind of dressed up my Sherman as Axis as possible. If you're gonna do a boot the Panzer, you may as well do it right. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, dude. I really wasn't looking over my right shoulder. I'm trying to drive off you, so if you could, there we go. Apparently, there's like I don't know, eighty thousand people online, but I don't know if I ever believe that figure. It feels inflated. Oh, dude, T-3457s? Those really scare me. Oh, there's a heavy tank. This is the second time we've run into each other. I'm too busy looking at the mini-map. We rammed a tree. That wasn't my fault, right? It's kind of my fault. It was all my fault, honestly. I think it's strange nothing's capped B yet. Enemy, specifically. Attention to the map. Now, if I go cap that, I know what's going to happen. The enemy plane's gonna come in IL-2 or Tisma and beat the crap out of me. The mates are already gunning for people over there. The sound balance in the game right now is absolutely awful. This artillery dropping miles away from me. I can hear it louder than I can hear things that are actually happening next to me. One thing I don't understand about Gajibol's engine. They do a lot of work to the sound, but they don't actually... ...fix the things that it's got issues with. I really just want to deal significant damage to this man. Okay, this is not going well, really. There we go. Finally. Russian tanks are just super buff right now. There goes my turret crew. What was that that fired at me, actually? I'll be at 57, I reckon. My turret ring is out, too. This is here. Like AV1. 
And unfortunately, hitting my bad shot. 31 second repair, that's a long time. Our KV1C is shooting them right now. Hopefully, we're disguised enough. And uh, Puma. Oh my goodness, they're really struggling with this guy. My gunner's almost back. Brenner's about to push up. There we go. Puma got him. It's coming this way. T-34 of some description. Fire your gun. Yeah. Comes an airplane. Prototype boy. Red is here to help do it. And everybody else. There we go. Okay. We'll have to head to B and get a load up. Oh my god, what the hell happened up there? Mini air collision? Wait, that cap's been taken by a teammate, so... Damn, did this orange gunner... Oh, he's red, sorry. You see? I don't know why electric turrets get affected by your gunners getting injured, but they, they do a lot. I can understand the driver, maybe. Like, not being able to push the pedals as hard or something. But, literally, the turret rotation is on or off. Hey, here we go. Our vehicle coming this way. M10. I heard him okay. But as soon as a plane flies over, all the engine noises seem to just cut out. Something else behind me. Yep. Yeah, I definitely heard them too. Damn, dude. Okay. Oh, we're dead here. Mm -hmm. T-3457 <laughs> Absolutely deleted us That 57 The more I've been playing it now The more I realise that thing needs to be 4.7 Especially now with the volumetric armour changes It's the only T-34 I actually like And for good reason it is But it's pretty broken at 4.3 Not seeing much over here Pushed on the C cap. Oh, I see him now. It's too late though. Missed him. Is that a plane on me? No, oh, KV1 shot him down. Oh, that's a BTR. I might be dead here already. There's two. Actually, two of them. Yeah, this is this is not good news. Not at all. G55 coming in. <gasps> two T34s down here. No, oh, KV1. Okay, you got a crowd on that guy. I'll do me for now. Still on C, I think, is crew replenishing or something. Feel a lot more confident with more planes up in the air. One of these guys is backing up towards this Panzer 4F2. Okay, we got a kill assist on the T3457. This guy's moving now. I'll wait for a better shot, I think. There we go. That's absolutely perfect. Oh, I hit his machine gun nipple. That's a pretty decent shot. I'll take it. And the other one pushing the Panzer 4F2 is down here. Let's go help him out. Oh, he's, he's tucked in there, look. Too low. He knows now. Oh, now my teammate in the Panzer 4 knows. Enemy aircraft up. Probably at his ma. 
playing Ring of Roses with each other. <laughs> oh dear. He didn't mind the building. He tried. <laughs> he tried. FTL pick him up, no problem now. There he goes, yeah. Okay. What on earth are you? It's my worst fear. We're, too, we're really too heavy to turn fight the Tisma. That doesn't sound friendly, what is that? Oh yeah, it wasn't friendly. I don't want to pull up for it either. God, things are like I'm actually being like beat up by SPAA, but all I can hear is like the I don't know, like some weird clapping sound. That's a decent hit. Oh, he's in trouble. A16's there. E2. Where did he go? My water's empty. Yeah, the sound the sound is crap. They need to they need to fix the sound. Like get, getting shot at and stuff is like a significant gameplay loop. You know, like it's a it's a nice mechanic to actually hear what's going on in the battlefield. When you remove that sort of stuff, the game gets really frustrating. Oh, non pen. Where'd this guy go? I seen a truck over here a second ago. Oh damn. He's right there too. Can't fly straight. So we're gonna car screw it. In the hopes we don't get shot again. Nope, we're taking shots. I can see I can see my plane turning different colours, but I can't actually see the sparks of the rounds hitting or anything like that. I don't know what they've done. I don't know what they've kind of... They've definitely broken something. No one Gaijin, they don't realise it. Or, hey, you'd say feature. <laughs> look at the state of my plane and not one single spark. It's like I've got... Like a disease. Why are you shooting me? Look at that. Oh dear. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, that's an ammo rack. I'm just gonna stay on my web, I think. Until my engines die. This man, yeah, he's upset. Rightly so. This is the one I non penned, I think. Let's get our flaps out. I'm gonna get main gunned off this Sherman, but that's fine. I believe in you, dude, you can do it. Tried. Oh, a non pen them? Even at that angle? Must have had an overlap. Wait, where to now? Still not dead though. This could still alive down here. <laughs> More things are diseased on my plane. It's like I've got a flesh eating virus, but for planes. Oh no, we need those slabs actually. This isn't going well. This is not ideal. I know the Sherman's in this field over here, but there he is, right there. Yay! Oh no! <laughs> what the hell is that? It's not alive, too. Look. Easy though. Easy game. So before we wrap this video up, I would like to thank all the Patreons who are Tier 3 patrons. It's uh, Big Bearded Moose, Gross Admiral, Justin, Darling, my my boy dude, thank you very much, Nate J and Yogbo. And I also had a $100 donation from Tyler Fox, so thank you guys very much for that. All the other patrons that are on there as well, I really appreciate you. I want to be able to afford all the rest of the equipment for the new PC build. Easy peasy, all thanks to you guys. And for everyone watching, this is super cool. Thank you guys. So, the Bootepanzer M474A. Ah, 
dude, this thing is really cool. I'm so glad I got it. It's a very nice addition to my German 4.0 lineup. I don't think I'll run the purely captured vehicles. Uh, I think probably with like 4.0 or even 4.3 lineup. Yeah, there's a lot of vehicles I can do really well with and just stick this in here for a little bit of a blast whenever I feel like it. And uh, apologies for the two days delay. Gaijin had some server issues, I had some hardware issues. Those things rubbing off each other. It took a little while to put this video together, but we should be back on the straight and narrow very shortly. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Much love and bye bye.